So I just painted this thing with the lights for this printout that I made. It's a picture of nature and like I shared in a previous video, I also printed out the American flag. So I printed out two of these, the nature pictures, one to cut the stars and the stripes. And I'm using Christmas lights. There's Christmas lights back here as well in my room. I my uh, head resting. Oh shoot! And this is the American flag that I printed out to to do this here. And I basically put the Christmas lights here as well. And I just did it with uh, duct tape because I don't have a uh, glue gun. So, see right there, you can see one of the stars I cut out. And over here, see, you can see all the little stars. And I try to put it, once I cut them, I put, put them right over where the image is at. So, when you're looking at it, Without the lights, you can't really see it. But when, oh, but when I uh, turn it on, then you can see it. I guess it would be better if maybe I could put the light bulbs a little bit more toward like away from the image the paper so it won't be so bright but that was the concept the idea for like kind of like a night light and it's just art honestly I love it. It came out great. And I also did one. I already shared it with um, all of you. Donald Trump, our president. And this one here. I did. Oh, I did with the. I basically cut it out. A bunch of little cutouts pattern and I did it 2019 last year um, but yeah I think it looks super cool and then I just connected everything together so it's just um, another way to do some art in the house and yeah so if you guys want to do it I bought this at the Dollar Tree I bought the Christmas lights at the Dollar Tree and I printed this stuff out here at home so this picture frame was a dollar, the lights were a dollar. And all I did is I used I used an exacto knife which I have this set that I bought at uh, Walmart. Super tough. 16 piece precision knife set and that's what I basically use to cut it all out 
So yeah. And then I was even thinking, because I've seen this, it has a hook, the two hooks, so you could hang it this way, horizontally or vertically. So I can technically put this here if I wanted, like that, and cover all the lights. But, I don't know, honestly, I, I would wish for it to just, for it to be one consistent light. But, in the meantime, I have to clean this dirty, the, just the, um, the glass, but I'll get a little razor blade and clean it up. But that's the first prototype idea that I've done. I haven't done any more, but I was thinking about creating more um, just to give ideas to people and hopefully some people can make their own and, you know, frame them up. <clears throat> Even kids, I was thinking kids could do them as a family project of whatever they want. That way they could hang it up somewhere in their bedroom as a nightlight so like this one I have I thought that was pretty cool but this one here is super cool it could even be a family picture with maybe um like your child's name on it or whatever that name is that would be pretty cool like my name is Francisco so you know if I got the same dimensions and I put it in um, I don't know like a photo editing app or something the paper size or if you guys have Photoshop, then when they turn on the light, the name will be there, their own name. So it'll be uh, customized. But during the day, like I said, the light will be off. And then all you will see is the family picture. So that's, an, that's just an idea of and the potential of this stuff. Yeah. I have this one here. Of my sister. Someone drew it for me. But. Even this like. I put fence boards. Here. And I've created a video for this. Um, so if I really wanted to. I could cut out the back of this and put lights like I have here they're not even connected around it so when I turn this on the picture for the pictures will also light up I think that would be super cool and this side I haven't put the fence boards up yet but maybe I could try it out just to see how it will look and basically this frame here I could even put like another piece of fence board as a frame like this and I could paint it any color or stain it I don't know and then I could put the light behind it but like if you used a magazine or something it probably wouldn't work because it might have other stuff in the background so you got to be aware of that as well um, See like this here, I bought at the Dollar Tree as well. So when I turn it on, oh, something happened. Oh, there it is. It's the same kind of idea with the light. Find your happy place. So I tried buying this for my massaging. So I could just have it on with the dim lights 
Oh, my other one's not on. See, like, it could even have, like, a logo of your business or something. I don't know. You would have to get creative and think about your own stuff. This is really customized stuff. Like, if you had a, if, it, if you have a tattoo shop, you could even have some. I don't know. See, but right now, you can't even see my drawings my on my um, nightstand. But hopefully, I can do that um, soon. And basically, it will look like this. If I put this here and connect this one. Basically, once it's up there, it'll look something like that, but not with so much light in the background, though. It will be covered well, like that. Almost tripped over my folder. But see that? I think it looks pretty cool. But yeah, anyway, um, so like, like I said, once it's disconnected during the day, it would just be a nature picture. But I mean, if you knew about it, then you can look closely and really see it. And the stripes are in here. They're kind of hard to see, honestly. But they're there. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just trying to be creative and just do something different. This was just... Someone gave me this when I was doing window cleaning in um, Laguna Beach or Long Beach or... I forget. But... Yeah, she gave it to me. She was throwing it away, so I took it and I put the fence boards up on it. And I was even thinking about eating some of these pen things and cutting the pokey thing out and then putting it where the screws are at. So. It could have um, something shiny, like, oh, I almost dropped it. So I could cover these um, screws like that. So when you're looking at it from a distance, it could be shiny. See how cool that looks? But I would need to cut it and then put some type of glue on it and then put it on there. And right here I messed up. So that's why I haven't done it because these imperfections will show, but oh well. Over here as well. See, and back here. See, it's like a little kid bed, but I customized it so anyone can really do this. Anyone can do this. Find, you know, people are always throwing them away. Just customize it a little bit, make it look badass.
Hey, yeah. Especially right now that everyone has to be home and stuff. It'll be a cool little project for people to do with their families. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea of putting um, the lights behind the wood and maybe I could put the glass like right here and then put the the wooden boards around around it so the glass could stay there because I was thinking about leaving this open, this area, without a lamp. Because it takes too much space. So there's a lamp. Like, kind of like that. Then, you know, you, you have more room to put stuff there and... And just uh, have your own something different. So, you know, a lot of people are into like smartphones and all that, which is great. But we have to be creative in every aspect. Like, right now I was shaving. I shaved and I even did my eyebrows for the like the first time. I don't know if I did a good job or not, but I think I did. And I shaved my face and I was cutting my nose hairs cause, because I have a lot of them. And I was thinking that it would be cool if the razor blade I was thinking if it would be cool if the razor blade somehow had a like another connection over here for the nose trim that would be like a smart um, razor device for grooming. It vibrates to cut the hairs more easier. Um, I was thinking I came up with another idea for it to heat up so it could really cut those hairs. Um, but yeah, since this has a battery in it already, someone can put the nose trimmer here and sell it like that. That would be pretty cool. Instead of having two, instead of having two things, you would just have one. So that's the same kind of concept with this is Eliminating the nightstand lights and putting them on the wood on the top. And I came up with more ideas like the light could be here, like one light could be here pointing at the picture. Um, but yeah, I mean, as you guys can see, this is all I have. I don't really have much. These were 20 bucks. These here, someone threw them away just down the street, the nightstands, and I took them. And I thought, I think they still look really, really nice and cool. And like I, like I said about the bed and the, the fence boards, they're like $2, $3 each. So I probably spent like 20 bucks on the fence boards. Or maybe more, maybe like, yeah, like 20. I don't know. Um, I really, 
I bought a uh, container, like one of these. This is all my clean clothing, even though it doesn't look like it. I've been working with this clothing. But I was thinking about getting something like this so I could just throw this in my in the container like this in the morning so my bed could look nice and clean. So I won't even have to like fold my blankets or anything. See how nice that looks. So I need to come up with something. Maybe I need to make a box with um, with some wheels or something so I could put down here. That's my penny collection. And down here I cleaned it up. I had this blanket that my mom gave me. She bought it for me. And then I had my iMac um, box case thing for my iMac. And <sighs> yeah, so I decided to put it up there so I could try to be a little bit, um, so I could be a little bit nice and tidy 